Hello Hopkins sports fans, welcome back to this week's edition of the Student Athlete of the Week. I'm joined this time by junior men's soccer player Akim Yonker. Akim last week had his first two goals of the season in a 2-2 draw against Messiah and then a 2-0 win on Saturday afternoon against Swarthmore. And Akim, I want to go back to last week and Monday night, that game against Messiah. You know, generally if you walk away with a tie against the number one team in the country, you'll take it. I know you guys... We're looking for more after jumping out on top 2 nothing to start that game. How much confidence, though, did that give you moving forward that you guys know you can compete against the top team in the country, reigning national champions, and looking ahead to the rest of the season? Yeah, like, like you said, like, it just gives us so much confidence. You know, they're, they're obviously a quality team, uh, number one in the country. And um, you know, us going up 2-0 against them and unfortunately um, giving up two goals and tying them eventually, you know, it just shows that like, we can play with the best. You know, we, we have the talent, we have the, the, the style of play that, that can get us to um, that level, you know, and we can play at that level. You were out for much of September with an injury, and I kind of saw those first couple games back, you were looking for that first goal after leading the team last year. You know, you were looking for it, looking for it. What did that feel like and to get that monkey off your back? It, no more than 25 seconds into that Monday night match against Messiah, you pick up your first goal of the season. Did that really kind of settle you down as you move forward for the rest of the year? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I don't know if you saw the tape, but after I scored, I put my shirt over my head, you know. I, it was such a relief. But, you know, the goals don't really matter too much. It's mostly just like me getting back into like my rhythm and contributing to the team like how I was last year and just like, giving all my energy and being in, you know, in the right rhythm. So I think I'm getting back to that now. Um, that game was a good start up for me. And um, I'm excited to just keep getting better for the season. You know, it was tough to be out for, for, for as long as I was, but you know, I'm just so happy to be back. Team started 0-2 in conference play. You've won your last three centennial matches. You look at the standings, only three games out, or three points out of first place, I should say. Everything that you guys, I'm sure when you went into this season, when you set your goals and aspirations, you still have that still ahead of you. So is that something you guys are talking about, or is it more of a one game at a time approach? Uh, right now, I think it's just one game at a time, you know. Um, obviously, we didn't get the start that we wanted, but um, I think that adversity that we faced, you know, we haven't faced that before. Um, it's really, we pushed through that and that's really like helped shape us to be a better team and I think going forward it's made us stronger and so um, yeah one game at a time you know we're just trying to win every game as possible. Like you said the conference is wide open and so um, one, game, one game at a time we have f &M this weekend it's a huge game and um, we're looking to get a W there. That'll be Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Everyone come out to Homewood Field and watch the Blue Jays take on the fifth ranked diplomats. Let's switch it up, get away from soccer here for a little bit. Uh, what is your major? What are you getting into? What are you studying here at Hopkins? Um, I'm studying public health and mole cell here at Hopkins. Um, I'm pre-med right now, so uh, post-grad plans to go to medical school. Well, you, took, you took my next question away from me. I was going to ask <laughs> what your uh, plans moving forward were. Thinking back to when you were in high school and you were recruited to come play college soccer, what was it about whether it was Hopkins, Coach Appleby, what do you think it was in the recruiting process that really brought you here? Um, there were a lot of things, but uh, I guess one main thing would be Coach Appleby, you know. Uh, an important part of my choice was the coach and like who would be guiding me throughout my four years. And I think Coach Appleby showed himself to be, you know, that guy that I wanted and he is that guy that I want. Um, he's been tremendous for me, you know, he cares about me as a person and as a player. And, you know, has helped me grow and like constantly try to be better, be a better human being, you know. and so. Um, his personality is just uh, something that really caught me and made me want to come here and play for him. Remember, the Blue Jays will be back home at Homewood Field Saturday afternoon, a big one when they take on Franklin and Marshall at 1 p.m. If you're not here at Homewood, you can watch it live on Hop TV. Bob Trossett will be on the call. We will see you next week for the fourth week of the Johns Hopkins Student Athlete of the Week. Thanks for watching.